Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Today we will discuss about structure of an atom. It is lecture number eighteen, and our subject is general science. The outlines of the lectures are: first of all, introduction of the main topic. Then we will discuss about that uh, what is an atom. Then atomic theory. then thomson model then thomson's experiment and then bohr models and then structure of an atom now uh, first of all uh, we shall introduce that uh, what is atom atom was discovered by john dalton he proposed the famous atomic theory in 1807 atoms are fundamental unit of matter and the existence of different kinds of matter is due to different atom constituting them atoms are the basic unit of matters and uh, the defining structure of elements the term atom comes from the greek word for indivisible because it was once thought that atoms were the smallest things in the universe and could not be divided so we now know that atoms are made up of three particles proton neutron and electrons which are the composed of even smaller particles such as quarks so atoms were created after the big bang means 13.7 billion years ago as the hot dense new universe cool conditions became suitable for quarks and electrons to form quarks came together to form protons and neutrons and these particles combined into nuclei so this all took place within the first few minutes of the universe existence so according to this is sir so it took 33 uh, 3 lakh and 80000 years for the universe to cool enough to slow down the electrons so that the nuclei could capture them to form the first atoms the earliest atoms were primarily hydrogen and helium which are still the most abundant elements in the universe so according to jefferson lab gravity eventually caused cloud of gas to coalesce and form stars and heavier atoms were created within the stars and sent throughout the universe a major challenge before uh, the scientists at the end of 19th century was to reveal the structure of an atom as well as to explain the important properties many scientists worked hard and proposed many models for the atoms here we are going to learn about the structure of an atom what is structure of an atom democrat's explanation of the atom begins with the stone a stone cut in a half gives two halves of the same stones if the stone were to be continuously cut at some point so there would exist a piece of the stone small enough that it could no longer be cut the term atoms comes from the greek word for indivisible which democritus concluded must be the point at which a big means any form of matter cannot be divided any more the discovery of two fundamental particles like electrons and protons inside the atoms led to the failure of the aspects of dalton's atomic theory for explaining the arrangements of electrons and protons in an atom many scientists proposed various atomic models so if we little discuss about the atomic theory so atomic theory is the scientific theory that matters is composed of particles called atoms atomic theory traces its origins to the ancient philosophical traditions known as atomisms 
according to the idea if one were to take a lump of matter and cut it into even smaller pieces one would eventually reach a point where the pieces could not be further cut into anything smaller so any sent ancient greek philosophers called these hypothetical ultimate particles of matter atomos a word which means uncut in the early 1800s the scientist john dalton noticed that chemical substances seemed to combine and break down into other substances by weight in proportions that suggest that each chemical element is ultimately made up of tiny indivisible particles of consistent weight shortly after 1850 certain physicists developed the kinetic theory of gases and of heat which mathematically modeled the behavior of gases by assuming that they were made up of particles now we discuss that what is an atom matter is anything that takes up space and has mass all matter is made up of atoms atoms are building blocks of matters sort of how bricks are the building blocks of houses if we go beyond about the history of an atom then it st states that the, the theory of an atom dates at least as far back as 440 BC to Democritus a Greek scientist and philosopher Democritus most likely built his theory of atoms upon the work of past philosophers according to Andrew G Van Melsens as he was the author of From Atomus to Atom the history of the concept atom Dukens University Press this is uh, uh, the public published by that university in 19, uh, 1952 democritus explanation of the atom begins with the stone a stone cut in a half two halves of the same stone if the stones were to be continuously cut at the same point so there would exist a piece of the stone small enough that it could no longer be cut the term atom comes from the greek word for indivisible which Democritus concluded must be the point at which the which a being means any form of matter cannot be divided anymore Now here uh, there is a timeline of uh, atomic theory that uh, first of all that was a greek model 400 BC and that was given by Democritus and then Aristotle's four elements came and then in 1803 dalton models came and then after that thomson model came in 1897 and then rutherford model that was given in 1911 and then in 1922 bohr model was given and the then wave model modern and so on so this was uh, the timeline of atomic theory that uh, whatever the work has done on this atomic or atom now atomic theory all matter is made up of atoms this is uh, the theory main points of the atomic theory of john dalton atoms of an elements are identical each element has different atoms atoms can engage in a chemical reactions atoms can neither be created nor be destroyed we discuss more that uh, in the early 18s hundreds the scientist john dalton noticed that chemical substances seems to be combined and break down into other substances by weight in proportions that suggested that each chemical element is ultimately made up of tiny indivisible particles of consistent weight by early 20th century scientists had developed fairly detailed and precise models for the structure of matter which led to more rigorously defined classifications for the tiny invisible particles that make up 
ordinary matters an atom is now defined as the basic particle that composes a chemical element around the turn of the 20th century physicists discovered that the particles and the chemist called atoms are in fact agglomerations of even smaller particles in subatomic particles but scientists kept the name out of conventions the term elementary particle is now used to refer the particles that are actually and is indivisible the other point that was atoms are indivisible this is other point of atomic theory so these were the main points about the atomic theory that was given by john dalton and his uh, duration of his life from uh, 1776 to 1884 now we discuss the thomson's plum pudding models in 1897 the english scientist j j thomson provided the first hint that the atom is made up of even smaller particles in thomson models he proposed a model of an of the atom that is sometimes called the plum means plum pudding models atoms were made from the positively charged sphere with negatively charged electrons embedded in it like uh, resins in our pudding the negative and positive charges are uh, equal in magnitude so the atom as a whole is electrically stable thomson experiment and discovery of electrons now we can observe that a voltage source has been given by using a vacuum tube with a foil of two plates and uh, how the electrons are moving passing electric current makes a beam appears to move from the negative to the positive end that was experienced by the thomsons moreover by adding an electric field what it what happened and he found that the moving pieces were negative he called these moving pieces electrons the electrons was discovered in 1897 by thomson he imagined the atom as a resin pudding with electrons stuck in a cake of positive charge can always must be positive goldstein postulated the existence of positive fundamental particles called the proton discovery of neutron by 1920 physicists knew that most of the mass of atom was uh, located in a nucleus as its center and uh, that this central core contained protons in may uh, 1932 james chadwick announced that uh, the core also contained a new uncharged particles which he called the neutron chadwick was born in 1891 and manchester england so the discovery of neutron and its properties was central to the extraordinary development in atomic physics in the first half of the 20th century early in the century ernest rutherford developed a crude model of the atoms based on the gold foil experiment of hans giger and ernest mosten in this model atoms had uh, their mass as positive electron charge concentrated in a very small nucleus chemical isotopes had been discovered the atomic masses has uh, had been uh, determined to be uh, integers multiples of the mass of the hydrogen atoms and the atomic uh, number has been identified as a charge on the nucleus in 1932 the chadwick discovered another subatomic particle which had no charge and a mass nearly equal to that of a proton so it was eventually named as neutron neutrons are present in the nucleus of all atoms except hydrogen 
in general a neutron is uh, represented as small n and uh, the mass of an atom is therefore given by the sum of masses of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. As we can observe that uh, the essential nature of the atomic nucleus that was established with the discovery of the neutrons by James Chadwick in 1932 and the determination that it was a new elementary particle distinct from the proton. Rutherford Gold's file experiment. In 1908, the English physicist Ernest Rutherford was hard as work on an experiment that seemed to have little to do with the unrevealing the mysterious of the atomic structure. Rutherford experiments involved firing a stream of tiny positively charged alpha particles at a thin sheet of gold file. The expected result was that the alpha particles would be reflected by the subatomic particles in gold atoms. Since alpha particles were much heavier than protons, he did not expect to see larger deflections. Here we can observe that uh, how uh, Rutherford or uh, he has uh, stroked arrays on a foil of gold. And when uh, the electrons were fired, then uh, their movements were different in different directions. Some were divert diverted, some go uh, went straight, and uh, some were deflected. So, what was uh, the unexpected results? Most of the positively charged bullets passed right through the gold atoms and the sheet of gold file without changing course at all. Some of the positively charged bullets however did uh, bounce away from the gold sheets as if they had hit something solid. He knew that positive charges repel positive charges. This could only mean that uh, gold atoms in the sheet were mostly open space atoms were not a pudding filled with the positively charged material rutherford concluded that uh, an atom had a small dense positively charged center that repelled his positively charged bullets he called the center of the atoms the nucleus the nucleus is tiny compared to the atoms as a whole then there are Rutherford's postulates. Rutherford's reasons that all of an atom's positively charged particles were contained in the nucleus. The negatively charged particles were scattered outside the nucleus around the atom's edge. Then uh, it comes Bohr atomic model. In atomic physics, the Bohr model or Rutherford Bohr model presented by Niels Bohr and Ernest Rutherford in 1913. This is a system consisting of a small dense nucleus surrounded by orbiting electrons similar to the structure of the solar system but, the, but with attraction provided by electrostatic forces in the place of gravity. In 1913, the Danish scientist Niels Bohr proposed an improvement and in this model he placed each electron in a specific energy lab. Following other four planet, planetary uh, model of the atoms, uh, it was realized that the attraction between the electrons and the protons should make the atoms unstable. Bohr proposed model in which the electrons would stably occupy fixed orbits as long as these orbits had special discrete locations. Bohr model of atom means the positive shown positively charged nucleus and the first uh, round circle around uh, the nucleus that is called k shell 
and the second round that is called L shell and the third round that is called M shell and fourth circle is called N shell. The special orbit known as distant orbit of electron are allowed inside an atom. So, these orbits or shells are represented by the letters K, L, M, N or the numbers N is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. Key specs of Bohr's models are there uh, like electrons move around the nucleus as stable orbit without emitting radiations. Electron in one of these stable orbit has the definite energy. Energy is radiated only when electrons make transitions from high energy orbit to a low energy orbit. Then subparticles in an atom. Subparticles in an atom are electrons, protons and neutrons. Okay, what is in the structure of an atom? Nucleus that is called center of the atom. This is called home of the protons and neutrons. It has a positive charge. Also it has a proton and that has a relative mass of 1 U. Has a positive charge, determines the atomic number also and found inside the nucleus. And it is represented by P. What is in the structure of an atom also neutron uh, it has no charge means zero charge has a relative mass of 1 u and uh, found inside the nucleus and it is represented by n. Then electron it has a negative charge it is uh, being found outside the nucleus. And other four at atom model, atom electrons are around the nucleus. And in Bohr model states that electrons are in the specific energy level called shells. And uh, electrons are represented by the letter E. Then how are P and E related? Number of protons, those are equal to number of electrons. Number of protons equal to atomic number. And number of protons plus number of neutrons becomes mass number. And number of neutrons that equal to mass number minus atomic number. Isotope symbols are there like uh, capital A uh, shows mass number and uh, capital X shows element, symbol of the element and uh, Z means uh, if uh, some numbers are written here at this place of uh, element then it shows atomic number an atomic number of proton and uh, A means total number of proton plus number of neutrons. What is called valency? The outermost shell of an atom is known as its valence shell and the electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are known as the valence electrons. So the valency of an atom uh, elements may be defined as combining capacity of an atoms with atoms of other elements in order to acquire octet configurations. For example, the valence of hydrogen is 1, valency of the hydrogen is 1. Then comes atomic number. Atomic number means number of protons in an atom is referred to as its atomic number. It is denoted by the letter Z and uh, elements are defined by the number of protons they possess. The atomic number of hydrogen is What is mass number? The mass of an atom resides in its nucleus. The mass of an atom is practically due to protons and neutrons alone. Therefore, mass number of an atom is the sum of neutrons and protons present in the nucleus of an atom. For a trojan, its mass number. What are isotopes? Isotopes are atoms of same elements which have different mass numbers but same atomic number like protium, deuterium and tritium. These are three isotopes of hydrogen. Their chemical properties are simil similar, but uh, physical properties are different. Then there are some applications of isotopes like anisotopes of uranium is used as a fuel in nuclear reactors. 
anisotopes of uh, cobalt is used in the treatment of cancer and anisotopes of iodine is used in the treatment of geotra. And here is the conclusions that uh, uh, atoms are building blocks of matters and uh, Thomson atom model is that atom is positively charged, sphere and electrons are embedded in it and atoms are neutral. Rutherford did the famous uh, gold file experiment and said that there is a positively charged center in, a, in an atom called nucleus and uh, the electrons revolve around the nucleus in circular paths. So this was all about uh, this lecture. Take care, Allah Hafiz.